Hey guys, welcome back to Julie's Journey. I'm going to do a quick update on my garden, show y'all my I ain't weeding and how it works because I've had some people that say, oh, well, it's not going to grow and it don't get enough of this or that. So I'm going to show y'all that this actually works with my I ain't weeding and give you an update on how big our boys have gotten Zeus and Apollo because Apollo has gotten huge since my last update. So make sure you like and subscribe and do all that good stuff and get all the content that I upload and help me grow my channel and I appreciate y'all watching this. All right, here is a quick update on my I ain't weeding. These are volunteer cantaloupe that just popped up out of my um my dirt bucket that I start my seeds in most of the time. And then this is a hummingbird vine. That Andrea and Austin gave me for Mother's Day and it went through a little rough patch and now it's starting to come out so I cannot wait to see what it's gonna look like but here we go in the tomato bed that is right this here is actually our well house and the well is right up here in this corner so anything that takes a lot of moisture to grow grows awesome over here and I have a little volunteer tomato here. And then these are my yellow tomatoes. I don't know if I actually put those on the last video. I think I mainly done the pepper patch. And I'm going to take you up there and show you. But we've already gotten tomatoes and squash and peppers out the wazoo. And like I'm fixing to have to go into cannon mode like crazy. So here we go. I'm going to walk out. And like I said, I put this plastic down every year and something has been laying in my squash and I am not happy about it. But so I had these big, beautiful squash plants that were waist high and I was getting squash out off of them like crazy. And this little path right here, something has been sleeping in it at night and I have got my game camera set up. And I'm going to figure out what it is, and then I'm going to get rid of it. Because it has killed like four or five of my squash plants up in here. And you can see how huge just the leaves on these squash plants are. And they're just beautiful, and they're putting off baby squash like crazy, and they're weighted down, and that's why they're kind of laying down. Plus, they were a little dry this morning, and we had some rain, so I'm kind of waiting to see... Um, kind of waiting to see if I need to give them some extra water or not uh depends on if we get a little more rain and you can see right here my plastic has come up and this is what I was talking about with the weeds but you can go in here and you could just pluck this out just like this around all of your plants lay your plastic back down where it wants to and see you see the water it's running into the holes and so not only does this plastic keep the weeds down but it also helps hold the moisture in the dirt itself and you can see i've got some massive tomatoes on here guys massive this is my hand this is how big this tomato is it's huge and these are cherokee purples um they are a heirloom tomato and they are this one little tomato plate i don't know what happened to it i think something slept on it too um Cherokee purples are a low acid tomato. There are also a um, they're also a heirloom tomato, and they are native to our area. So they don't get like a whole lot of bugs on them. But for those that say that my ain't I ain't weeding don't work, these tomato plants are five foot tall. I'm 5'3", and they're right at my head. So, they work. Alright, and now we're going to go over to the pepper patch. And then, we work on lawnmowers, so please disregard all the crap in my yard. It looks really bad, but there's a lot of money sitting in this yard, and this is how we make our living. So, this is my pepper patch. I had two volunteer Cherokee Purples. Um from last year i put the tomatoes up here and i put the peppers down there so that way it get different nutrients and we have had a buttload 
of peppers and I'm gonna have to wind up starting to can them and and we have red cherry bombs if you've seen those on there they're like a jalapeno with they're like two jalapeno in the flavor and one in the heat so they're really really good um, these are Santa Fe's and I've done gotten like 20 Santa Fe's and you can see it's got a whole massive load of new ones that are coming on um, and I will tell you this there are people that say that peppers and tomatoes will not cross pollinate oh let me tell you honey they will because these are gonna be hot tomatoes and they are going to be great for chili and stew and tacos and pico and everything like that. And they're going to be awesome. And uh, a lot of people don't believe that. Oh crap, I've got some little peppers that decided to no bueno and fall off. This is a cooler pepper, a cooler pino. So it is like a cooler version of a jalapeno. But it is right here next to these cherry bombs. And then I've got grand, re uh, grand ristros back here, cow horns, and then over here are little hobbies. They finally have decided to start going gangbusters, which they like it hot and humid. And here in Tennessee, uh, that is normally June, July, and August. Well, our June kind of sucked on the humidity. So this is irises and then this was my alvinor lilies i wish i had gotten on here for y'all to see those because they are just absolutely gorgeous but let me show y'all how big our little monster has gotten do you see this he's massive and he's muddy and he's a mud puppy a mud puppy and then even Mr. Zeus over here. No, Apollo. Easy Apollo. Easy dude. I know you're What's she doing, Zeusy do? Hi, baby. Hi, darling. What you doing? I know we're gonna get your little black behind in the shop here in a minute when we get this motor closed up, okay? But you can see that he has just gotten huge. We've got him a doghouse out here. So and then I have got I don't know if y'all can see it. Where did it go? I'm trying to get it in the shot. Oh, there it is. My little hummingbirds. I think that's actually so a soldier, which is the one that tells me when all my feeders are empty and he comes out and he buzzes my head and there he went off. And a reason why I call him soldier is because he has like this little badge on his chest in his white. And he is not a ruby throat. Um, I don't really know what kind he is, but he's not a ruby throat. I know that. And he will come and he will sit in this hanging basket that has strawberries in it, which those are doing so awesome for it to be the first year that they've been in. You can see they're just really pretty. And my daughter has the greenest thumb ever. I grew she strawberries can, on concrete at Yes, point. she has thrown strawberry tops out on concrete that just had like a centimeter of dirt on it. And they sprouted. So, um, and I'll give y'all a quick update on my peace lilies. I put them out here on the porch and they are looking really good. Um, this one over here has bloomed. And it just looks really cute. And we're not getting all the pollen from the inside of the house. And then, this is my corn plant. I kind of threw it outside because it was making me mad. So, I threw it out here and it's kind of going through a rough patch. But it will plume back out. So, but you can kind of see in that big blue thing that's covered up that everybody asks me about, that is our smoker. We do our own barbecue, we smoke it, and then we freeze it, and we're not buying barbecue from the whole store. But y'all can see, this is our shop in the background, um, and that's where we work on the motors at. So that is the reason why we work from home. And um, we've just kind of been blessed 
that uh, everything God told us what to do. We followed the plan, and if you do that, he will provide for you. So, for those of you that don't believe that, that's fine, but please don't. Um, I'm one of those live and let live people, and what you believe is your beliefs, and what I believe is my beliefs, and and we'll leave it at that. So, but um, for those of you out there that believe the same way I do, if you look to God and you pray, He will give you answers and He will show you your path. And this was built from nothing. We started with twenty dollars in our pocket, and Andrea was a baby, and we were out of diapers. And we said, God, what are we supposed to do? And he had about 100 people come to us and tell us that we needed to, that my husband needed to start working on mowers again. And he started it up, and it has provided for us. There are some times when it's rough and it's hard, and having your own business is like raising a set of twins. But it, we have been blessed, and... God has provided, and even throughout my health issues and surgeries for hip repair and replacement and 17 staff sur removal surgeries, we were able to take care of us. So, if you don't believe, pick up the good book, read, but you cannot make an opinion if you do not look and you do not do your research. So... Um, thank y'all and thank y'all for watching this video and I hope that this helps somebody and I hope that my I Ain't Weeding gives you some ideas um, and for the people that say that it does not work my plants are living proof it works and they yield a lot like I can can tomatoes I think I've got 20 something tomato plants out here and off those 20 tomato plants I will be eating tomatoes on sandwiches and I will be canning the crap out of them and FYI if you start canning yellow tomatoes or the uh, Cherokee purples you have to either put some lemon juice in there to raise the acid level or mix it with a high acid like red tomato. Um, the acid and then mixed with the vinegar and the salt that you put in is actually what helps preserve it. So when you can them, you do have to add some extra acid to it if you use the Cherokee purples and the yellows. But I have ate tomatoes since I was a little girl, straight out of the garden with a salt shaker and knife and a garden hose. And used to get my tail tore up by my papa, and that was how they found me. They followed the water hose. Um, but uh, I have eaten so many tomatoes that I had made blisters in my mouth from eating them, and so that was part of the reason why we switched to lower acid tomatoes. So, <laughs> but uh, thanks for joining me, and I hope this helps somebody. And I will see y'all next time.